Okay, another video review once again. And this video review be of the Ferengi Marauder model. Which as you can see it's quite that well detailed. You know, this thing looks like a little bit like battle damage. I'll say. Now the first floor the first the first flaw I find with this is the stand. The stand does not hold this model at all. Even the slightest movement will have the model almost flying right out of the stand, which can be scary. It's generally due to the way the stand is designed. The stand is designed to try and hold the model in this position. However, as you can see, the design of the Marauder has a kind of up, upward slope. The stand does not compensate for this slope, so the model doesn't quite hold, doesn't quite hold in, the, in the stand too well, and the stand will not hold the model. So, I really wish they would find some way to fix the stands so they can hold the models better. But the model itself is gorgeous, as you can tell. It is very well detailed, the shape is quite distinctive, kind of like a horseshoe crab. Or it went kind of an ancient. Oh, oh, is that. I believe it's called a trogobite or something. I think. It's a very distinctive design. Oh, as you see, there's a lot of detail. The Falinga Mologa is a little bit about the size of a galaxy class, or just a tiny bit smaller, but as powerful as a galaxy class. I can take it out. I can take it out so easily. In the in, in the series, it was noticed that the neck could extend. Un, I was unknown if it was like an attack mode or if it was a for, sign of a slender or something. As you can see, there's a lot of little details. If I take this up to the light, you can see that the light the light piping was fully in the cell, which is nice. There's that in the oven in the cell as well. It's a, a very lovely little model. And a lot of people like the Ferengi, mostly because they're just so hilarious. When they were first introduced in The Next Generation, they were, they were, they were thought to, be, to try and be more of a threat, but, but they were so comical, they were not really much of a threat. They're more, they're just, I guess you could call them capitalists. Like, you know, like what we have today. With, you know, a bunch of greedy scum who believe that money is the bio end all of all existence and will destroy people's lives in order to make sure they have more. Very sickening behaviour. It will destroy humanity. It's just a very beautiful model. The shame the stand doesn't hold it very well. Which is rather annoying. I like this model. I like it. I like it a fair bit. Just a very, very nicely designed. Although this little part here seems to be. This little bit here doesn't really seem to be lined up properly. Oh well. Hmm, I like it. Good little model. If you can manage to get your hands in it, I would recommend it. It's different, quite distinctive. Though so I'm still not sure if the stand if the stand is meant to hold the model this way or that way. Mm. It seems to hold it a lot better that way. Though I'm a little worried that it's gonna be a little back heavy. Maybe best to have it holding it that way then, by the looks of it. Holds it much better. Yeah, it's just a good little model. I quite like it. If you can get one, go for it. The Flingy approach, a perfect example of some political aspects of humanity, you know, of what sexism, greed, stupidity, ignorance. Oh. That's this model reviewed. I know, I know my reviews aren't much, but 
I'm not really looking to go into huge amounts of detail. I'm sure a lot of us already know all the ships off by heart. Oh, it's the Ferengi, it's the Ferengi Marauder, giving a, a wee review. I'll see what my next model will be. And, signing off.